الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اي الحبت في الله again i want to invite myself and encourage myself and others to adhere to kitab Allah wa sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and we are in a great need of having our affairs rectified by adhering to the Quran and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and avoiding joining groups and sects and breaking apart the ummah because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to be one قال سبحانه في كتابه الكريم واعتسموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا and adhere to all of you hold fast to the rope of Allah and do not divide so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to be one ummah and with that أحبتي في الله adhering to كتاب الله it takes patience patience in being obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and patience in avoiding his prohibitions and in patience it also helps us to be better slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala patience with the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because due to our frailties and our weaknesses in Iman that sometimes the sunnah may not go in accordance with our desires because that's a sign of strong Iman is that a person their desires are in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam but many of us are not at that stage and we find differences sometimes in some of the things that we enjoy or some of the things we want to do but I want to encourage myself and my brothers and sisters in Islam to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and review yourselves and, and the status of your Iman and strive your best to come back to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, and beware sectarianism. Beware calling to yourselves. Beware calling to your group. Beware calling to anything except Kitab Allah wa Sunnah of Rasul وسلم, and the Madhab of the Salaf of this Ummah. Because they, at the top of the, the Salaf, was the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. And they were the best of this nation. And they were the ones who were there when revelation was being revealed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So their way and their understanding, their methodology and their manners, all of that is the best. It is superb to any scholars, to anyone who came after them. They were the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, If tarakat al-Yahud al-Ihti wa sab'een firqa, wa if tarakat al-Nasara al-Ithnatayn wa sab'een firqa, وستفترك هذه أمة على ثلاثة وسبعين فرقة كلها في النار الواحدة كل من هي يا رسول الله قال من كان على مثلي وما كان عليه وأصحابي اليوم The Prophet صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم said the Jews broke into seventy one sects the Christians into seventy two sects my أمة into seventy three sects all of them in the fire except one they said who are they يا رسول الله he said those who are upon what I'm upon and what my Companions are upon radiallahu ta'ala anhu mitra'in. Habiti fillah, tamasik bi kitab wa sunnah. And avoid those things which will take you away from that and groups and sects and breaking into that which is displeasing to Allah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa